And now, KCAU 9 presents Sports Zone with sports director Anthony Mitchell and sports anchor Noah Sacco. Your inside look at all the local sports action begins now. Where is the Catholic Trojans? You're watching Sports Zone. And the highlights start now. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in and welcome into the KC United Sports Zone. I'm Anthony Mitchell alongside me, Noah Sacco. No better place to be in the zone. Let me tell you, folks, we have a ton in store for you tonight. Top matchups, even bigger plays, and of course, our top stop and boys player of the week. But first, we're going to start things out with our sports zone game of the night taking place in Nebraska between Why Not and Cedar Catholic, a battle between a pair of nine win teams, each looking for that big push to carry them into the postseason. Both teams looking for bounce back wins after each suffered tight losses to unbeaten Ponca this week. What are the odds, right? You can't draw it up any better than that. Scoreless in the first quarter. Carson Weasler at the top of the key. He thinks about it and he thought about it. He buried it. Turning that defense into offense later with a steal and transition. Bucket plus a foul for Andrew Haberman. Why not riding an 8-1 start and the Trojans turn it on. Nolan Becker hits the pull-up J and he's going to also hit him with a two small sell. He game high 17 points showing off the defense in the second. Becker hits Ty Taney for an easy steal and a land Trojans shooting in front 15-11 and Cedar Catholic kept the hot hand from there. Brady Steffen cans the triple. Cedar Catholic takes down Why not 59 to 41. That's your final score. And what a way to start the night and a big win there for Cedar Catholic. Absolutely. But now it's time to get to the rest of tonight's action. Starting with a pair of MRAC schools squaring off in the Metro. It's Bishop Heelan and Sergeant Bluff Luton. Heelan has won the last two meetings against SBL. Warriors with a chance tonight to avenge its loss to the Crusaders from back in December. Second quarter, Warriors up four, working a download of Gavin Arendt. Home team up 24 to 18. Here comes Bishop Heelan out of the break. Quinn Olsen showing off the reins. You can count it for the senior. Big triple, 28-20. Five Warriors. Crusaders charging now, dumping it off to Matt Knoll. Wayne State signing going to work. Game high 24 points, deficit down to one. SBL staying in front. Emiliano Gonzalez goes to Scott Dixon for the bucket. Two of his 12 points from there. The USF football commit. Crusaders, though, complete the comeback, beating SBL 47 43. At North High, West High Wolverines, they've won three of their last four. The Stars, on the other hand, looking for a tally in the win column at home. Wolverines in front early. Stars taking the lead back. Hayden Love, Ryan connecting on the three-pointer, sparking the Stars offense. Shortly after a hard-fought battle in the paint, Destiny Niles won't be denied. Tough bucket and a well-earned two points. Capping off a 7-0 North run. Wolverines battling back. Kaya Davis finds Kimber Booman. Kimber! Down goes the three. Wolverines continue its strong play, defeating North on the road 62-51. Over to Westwood now. Rebels guard Brody Mukenrath leads the WVC in scoring with 24.4 points per game. Big defensive task for the Falcons. Let's see if they're up to the challenge. Starting with some Rebel defense. Falcons struggling to scratch on this possession early on. Offensive rebounds and that swat at the end. And it is a turnover from defense to offense. Soon after, Westwood clicking from downtown. Joe DeWald knocking down the three. Next play, Rebels trying their luck from the corner again. It's going to be a long rebound. Take a look at that ball control from Bryson Kohler avoiding the turnover and going coast to coast for two, but it's Westwood coming out with a 49-42 win. Staying in the conference, Woodbury Central hosts Lawton Bronson in a battle of Highway 20 schools. The Eagles flying high in this game, fourth quarter and a fight at the top of the key. Gage Semple on the ball and he finds a sweet fadeaway and the jumper over the Cats. Next trip down the court, the Eagles again working top of the key. This time Eli Stadsvold has nothing but the net for this J. Another play for the Eagles. Connor Clausen this time, his shot's denied, but he stays with the ball, finds Cole Wagner open in the corner. Cha-ching from three, the Eagles cruise to a 67-39 victory. We have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere just yet. Plenty of big matchups on the other side of our break. Plus, who's going to bring home those coveted Top Stop and Boys Player of the Week awards? we got some great candidates in our remaining games. Stay in the zone. We are the Westwood Rebels. Don't you dare change that channel. Sports Zone will be right back. Yeah! 